Okay, so I think we can all agree that OLED screens are amazing, at least when it comes to smartphones. They typically have more contrast, better viewing angles, and deeper blacks compared to LCD screens. But that's not all. There are many more benefits of using an OLED screen on a smartphone. For example, they are significantly thinner compared to LCD screens, so they allow manufacturers to either make the phone thinner or maybe add a larger battery, which is always a good thing for us. OLED screens are also flexible. They are arguably the biggest reason why foldable smartphones exist today. They're also power efficient. They consume much less power compared to LCD screens. And because every single pixel can be turned off individually, OLED screens can potentially increase your battery life if you use dark mode. In other words, they're great, but they're not for everyone. You see, just like most things, OLED screens also have some drawbacks. For example, burn-ins. But the one that recently caught my attention the most is something called PWM flickering. And it's a rather big problem with OLED screens in particular. And this is also starting to make me think that companies like Samsung and Apple should start making phones with LCD screens if they don't already. But if they do, they shouldn't stop or change the way their OLED screens work. And I'll explain why, but first, what even is PWM flickering and what does it have to do with an OLED screen? Well, PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation. It's a technique used by many smartphone companies to control the brightness of their phones, usually with OLED screens. And this is how it works. Basically, when you lower the brightness of your phone's screen, what your phone is really doing is just turning the screen off and on constantly. But this happens very quickly, normally at a frequency of more than 300 hertz, or more than 300 times in a second, which is fast enough for most people to not see the screen flicker and simply think the screen got darker. But notice how I said most and not all people, because it turns out about 10% of the people can actually see it, even if it is as fast as 500 hertz, meaning 500 times in a second. So so this is a fairly big problem and I think more people should know about it. Now 10% may not sound like a lot, but it is because there are more than 6.6 .6 billion people in the world who use a smartphone and 10% of that means 660 million people. So literally hundreds and millions of people around the world cannot enjoy using an OLED screen because of this technique. Pretty much all big smartphone companies, including Samsung, Apple, Xiaomi, OnePlus, Huawei, and many others are using to control the brightness of their OLED screens. I'm not a part of that 10%, but I think for them, watching this video on an OLED screen would look something like this. And as you can see, it's not very pleasant. By the way, I'm not 100% sure if 10% of the people can see it. I know people can see it, but I couldn't find an exact number or percentage online. That 10% comes from one of you who commented on one of my previous video. So I hope you're right, but I just wanted to let you know. Anyways, after doing some more research, I also learned that low PWM frequencies can make your pupils contract and expand constantly, which can cause eye strain, nausea, and headaches. So it can be quite harmful. Now this raises a question. Is there a solution? Well, thankfully, the answer is yes or at least I think it's yes. The simplest solution would be to just use LCD screens, which could definitely work, but I don't think it's the best solution because as we all know, LCD screens are just not as good as OLED screens. Now, that being said, we also have mini LED technology, which is a lot better than LCD because mini LED screens have local dimming zones. So their contrast ratio is way better than LCD screens. But it's still probably not the best solution because I doubt they're as thin as OLED screens or have the ability to bend, meaning you can't use them for folding phones. So then what? Well, it seems like the best solution would be to still use OLED technology, but with a much higher PWM frequency. According to netbookcheck.net, frequencies of 3000 Hz or above would eliminate chances of users having issues. Now, I'm not a professional, but if the solution is as simple as just using a higher PWM frequency, why don't companies already do it? Maybe it's not as simple as it sounds. Maybe. I don't know. But one thing's for sure, some of the biggest smartphone companies are currently using frequencies that are problematic for many people. So 
As good as the OLED screens are, unfortunately, right now, they're just not for everyone. I don't think any big smartphone companies will ever watch this video, but if they do, I want them to at least consider doing something about this problem. I'll leave some links in the description that I used to research this topic, so if you want to know more about it, feel free to check them out. But that's all for this video. It was a bit different than my other videos, but if you liked watching it or perhaps learned something new, definitely let me know. And I guess I'll see you later.